D&D Davison, live with blogs.com. Student meteorologist here with your overnight outlook. We're going to start here in the Roanoke Valley. We're going to start with the flood watches. We're going to have a lot of rain coming up here over the next two days. We've had a lot of rain today. We're just going to continue on. The whole Roanoke Valley is under a flood watch, including just to the west of the uh, triad. Not all in there. Flash flooding is possible over the next couple days. And here's the rainfall total forecast. Look at the rainfall total forecast here. We're talking six and a half inches east of the Blue Ridge. This is up against the mountains here in the Blue Ridge Mountains. Bedford County, I live in this general area here. We're going to be getting six plus inches of rain over a three day, over the next two days. That's a lot of rain here in the Roanoke Valley. And that includes Bent Mountain, that includes Botox County, that includes Covington. We're talking about a lot of rain. Five inches back here in Blacksburg. I mean, we're talking about a lot of rain here in the Roanoke Valley. Flooding is going to be probably likely over the next couple of days, and we'll keep keep it up, keep you updated if we get in any major flood situations. But tons of rain for not having it for so long. Definitely going to happen here, and we have more threats beyond that. Um, we're going to go right now to the severe weather threat that we're going to have um, here, just to the east of this area, and isolated in this area as well. Let's go to the severe weather outlook. This is the Monday outlook. You can see Raleigh. Norfolk, right down to Lynchburg area, 15 percentile, 5 percentile going back to Roanoke, and this is for wind, hail, and isolated tornadoes with isolated supercells occurring. And this will happen with this upper level low is being very potent, and these might be lower level tornadoes too, like where th these these will not be seen if they do occur. They're going to be rain wrapped, so it's going to be pretty pretty bad if it does occur. And we're definitely keep keep you on here at liveweatherblogs.com because it looks like we're going to be getting into a situation tomorrow in which we may have some severe weather. Norfolk, down through Charleston, down through just the east of Atlanta, Macon, Georgia, areas like that. So we're going to definitely keep an eye on it. We have a slight chance even going up through Dover, Delaware, so and with DC. So we've got to keep an eye on it. Here's our low pressure system here. It's going to ride up to the northeast. That is going to cause a lot more pushing up against the mountain chains. All, all the wind's going to come out of the southeast. It's going to push up against the mountain chain here, the Blue Ridge Mountains, and the Appalachians. That's going to cause a lift. That's why I think there is going to be an area here in the Blue Ridge area that could get severe weather, as well as the areas along the shoreline where there's going to be a lot of change in direction with height. Um, that's why the tornado probability will be there. We have high pressure out here in the Midwest, but that's going to have problems pushing in. This is going to be more or less like a nor'easter type of system that's going to move up the coast and cause a lot of rain. Like I said, six inches of rain you're talking about here in the uh, Roanoke Valley. And this is a radar overlay. So along the front will be, and along the Appalachian, is going to be the greatest area for rainfall. And the mainly reason is because your orographic left is drowning, is it's drenching out those storms, and it's making it really fall heavily. Here's the upper level low back here. It's pushing all this moisture out of the Gulf and also out of the Atlantic. And that's going to cause, like I said, a lot of rain. You'll see where the there is a lot of precipitation. And the Gulf is open for uh, lots of pre precipitation to get up into the area. And the Cape's going to be higher also uh, here east of the Blue Ridge Mountains for thunderstorm development. So it's going to get very unstable. Look at the tropics, we have this one area. This might become better developed over the next couple days, something we've been looking at on the models. I'm not going to go so in-depth into it tonight, because I'm concentrating more on the severe weather, and I don't want to make this too long. But this is an area we got to watch for that possible development with the storm that might move up um, into f near Florida and the Carolinas. So definitely going to keep an eye on it. Now for a forecast for the Roanoke Valley. Flood watch effect. Up to six inches of rain possible over the next three days. Heavy rain this is overnight, an inch plus possible. Heavy rain tomorrow, 70 degrees, 60 degrees Monday night, heavy rain, likely. Tuesday, rain turning into showers, 74. Clearing out on Tuesday night, 55. 75 on Wednesday, and 74 on Thursday with partly sunny skies. And for the triad, showers overnight, 60, 71. Showers and thunderstorms, possibly severe. Monday night, showers, thunderstorms, possibly severe. Tuesday, 76, chance of showers, clearing out Tuesday night. Wednesday, 78, and sunny, and chance of showers again Thursday. 
as we have another system possibly coming up. So, flood watch is in effect. Severe weather is possible tomorrow in the just to the east of the Roanoke Valley, and back in that five percentile is backed up into the Roanoke Valley. So, we're going to keep an eye on it for you here at liveweatherblogs.com, and I will have the latest information on any information, any problems that we come through again tomorrow. Flood watch in effect for the area. Dean D. Davison, liveweatherblogs.com.